Hi guys. So I'm at an NHS testing centre. I've had a cough for quite a while now, um, for a number of days. So I called the NHS and I'm gonna have a COVID test. So I've just pulled it to one of the drive th through centres or mobile test centres and they've given me a package and in here there's a swab that I've got to do. So I've got to swab the back of my throat and then I've got to swab my nostril quite far up. Then I put the swab back into the packaging that they've given me and then that's it. I'm um, on my way. In fact, they didn't tell me. I suppose I just drop it in a box or something. Or I don't, I don't think I can come out of the car, basically. So I'm going to do that now. And um, let's see how it goes. It's really chucking it down with rain. Um, but I think I'm getting better. I mean, I don't think I have COVID. I really don't. But I thought it's best to double check. Um, I haven't been out for five days and to be honest my symptoms are getting better the cough is worse at night but sometimes during the day I'll just have a fit of coughing and I can't stop so anyway I'm gonna take this test now right so I'm done that was easy but it was fiddly and I was scared I was gonna drop stuff in the car and the, the staff there were really helpful um, and basically if you had any trouble you put your hazard lights on and they would come over to the car and they would ask um, you what you need help with so I did that um, the results take anywhere between 24 and 48 hours um, it's my appointment was three so it's 3 18 now and they said I might actually get my results tomorrow morning which would be good <coughs> <coughs> So, yeah, um, what else would I tell you? Um, I think that was it. All the instructions were in this leaflet. We're in this leaflet here. <coughs> and as I said, it was straightforward, just that it was a little bit fiddly in the car and I was scared I was gonna drop the swab and blah, blah, blah. So the swab you put uh, <coughs> in your tonsils, or in your tonsils, you touch your tonsils, with the swab and you swab for about 10 seconds so the back of the throat you just you do that and then the same swab you then take and you insert it into your nostril quite deeply and you do the same thing for 10 seconds so do it that way around mouth first then nostril not the other way around and when you're taking the swab out of your mouth you've got to be careful not to touch the other areas of your mouth with the swab and um yeah, I think that's it. It's all sealed. So I'm gonna head home now. There's things I wanna do, things, shops, blah, 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 but I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna go straight home because I'm self-isolating until I get these results. And I think my, res I'm, I'm hoping my results will be, will be negative. Um, and I hope I get the results tomorrow. So I will let you know. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and we have just arrived at the farm shop. So it's the first time here and we want to grab some produce. So um, we thought we'll take you along. I suppose part of living outside of London is to experience some fresh um, produce. So we thought we'd give it a go. You ready Tony? I'm ready. Tony is ready. <laughs> Produce. What are we going? What, what orange? Orange for orange for fresh orange juice, isn't it? Yes. We got what else did we get? 
Oh my good trying to guess for look, it's in a bag. We got some can we, can we show it? Yeah. They get some apple juice and elderflower with no added sugar, which is I mean a good thing, isn't it? No added sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got in here? Some sweet corn. Oh and I think this is a, a new eat because you picked your own eggs. I did, they were laid this morning. It's free range. Free range. Laid eggs. this morning. Nice it's back to front. Do you wanna yeah? Oh yeah. Can I read it? Hold it so it doesn't open here. Yeah. Yeah. You want to see what farm free Tony, range mind the eggs drop the on the ground. <laughs> these are, they're graded, isn't it? No, these aren't graded. I think they're not graded, but they're graded. Anyway. So eggs and uh, sweet corn. Did I say oranges? Yes, you did. Oh, we've got yeah, two lots. One Egyptian. Oh, yeah. From Egypt. Egypt? Yeah, Egyptian oranges. And uh, this. Is not from Egypt. Yes, it oh, is. it is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this one is not from Egypt. This is from. This is local, and we only bought it because they're using it to squeeze their own fresh oranges. So we thought if they're using it for their oranges, we can use it for our oranges. Yeah, because Tony bought a, a orange squasher, orange squasher. juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a citrus press, isn't it? Is the is the formal the formal word for it? Yeah, so name. citrus press. So yeah. he's going to be making lots of orange juice. Yeah. He made orange juice yesterday. It was so nice. Yeah, it was, it was quite nice. rich, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it took lots of oranges <laughs> for to buy it in the container. Oh, and we bought <laughs> sweet corn. Oh, Shall I show them the sweet corn? Sweet corn. They, they grow it their own sweet corn here. So yeah. we've got sweet corn. It's uh, unorganic. <laughs> organic. Anyway, it's grown locally on the farm, so it's yep. much bigger and bigger than the ones you get in the supermarket. More yeah. expensive. I don't know about that. I don't know about bigger. They are anyway, bigger. Oh, are they? I bought some yesterday. Oh, okay. Anyway. And um, the garlic. If you're a vampire, you won't like these. <laughs> Actually, even if you're not a vampire, I'm not sure about these. Well, not garlic. <laughs> smoked garlic. So I've not burning. tried smoked <laughs> garlic before. Um, and I wanted to roast some garlic, so I thought I'd try the smoked garlic first. So yeah, try that. Garlic. garlic. So that's our purchases. So we had a good time. We did have a good time. Ow, my arm's hurting me now. So I'm going to okay. switch this video off. And yeah, that's our Sunday morning. Nice. Guys, we also visited Portchester Castle. Portchester Castle has a rich history of black prisoners of war you know a lot of these things we don't even hear about or read about in the history books but Portchester Castle had prisoners of war particularly from the Caribbean over 2,000 soldiers and their families were held there in the 1700s do check the English Heritage website for more details about an exhibition they are currently running We're just out taking some pictures. Camera. Camera. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, Tony's helping me taking some pictures for my social media and for my blog. And um, yeah, so we're out here um, on a field. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, not too far from <clears throat> where we live, so it's quite easy to get to. And we've taken a few shots, so. In true blogger fashion, I'm going to change. <laughs> I'm going to change in the car into a new outfit. So we've finished taking the pictures. We only managed to get through two outfits. <laughs> we only managed to get through two outfits. I've just changed. I'm in the back of the car, <laughs> and um, Tony wants to go for um, find a local pub. So we're going to go off looking now for pub. Um, I'll probably have a shandy and what are you going to have Tony? A cider? I might have a cider. A cider. A cider. A cider. <laughs> yeah, cider. Yep, yeah, so I'm going to get from the back seat and jump round to the driver's seat mm -hmm. and drive. Hey guys, so we found a pub and it's called The Red Lion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Red Lion and it's in Southwark. Southwark? Southwark? Southwark. 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 Or Southwark. Mm. Uh, Southwark's in Ooh. South London. Yeah, Southwark. Uh, Southwark. Yeah, Southwick or Southwick. That's what it seems, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna. We are just having. I'm having a shandy. Tony's having a soider. A soider from Harfordshire. Hard Harfordshire. Hereford, 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 Hereford
temperatures dry down here. And I'm having Ams Amstel. Yeah, Amstel. Um, Amstel and lemonade. It's really nice. And then we're just here having a chat. I'm <laughs> catching up on our day and then going home and Tony's making soup. Make soup. Yeah, I'll make soup. Saturday soup. Saturday soup. <laughs> so looking forward to that. Uh, so we're just here and this is just a local pub. It's got, we're out in the terrace. Yeah, terrace or the garden? Yeah, big, and we're big sitting, garden. Yeah, and we're sitting in what they call an air raid shelter. I'll show you in a minute. We'll find out about the history. Now we've come down to see Natty, Natty's jerk, right here. It's a bus in a coconut. Natty, say hi to my vlog. This <laughs> is Natty of Natty Jerk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here, we're here. Um, Natty come down here for jerk, come here for coconut, he's here down at South Behind us here is Gosport. Um, that way is Portchester, and ahead of us is Portsmouth Harbour, the Spinnaker, Spinnaker Tower, which I can't spin the camera around to show you right now. So we're just out here. This is our second day out on our own, and we've just had a really good time learning the different tips and tricks and procedures. How to moor, so we've just moored the boat, so we're here just moored up. And we stopped and we had a bite to eat, and now we're gonna gonna go out to South Sea and towards Isle of Wight, or, or maybe we'll head back. You're, you're driving at the same No, you're gonna drive now. No, 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 you've got the controls now. Oh, I'm driving. You are now. the captain. I am the captain. So, yes, we just did some good maneuvers. Tony was there reversing the boat. <laughs> and I again I did as well to the moor. Um, yeah, so that was really good. So we're going to um, check back in with you later. But for now, oh it stopped raining. Oh yes, and out of all the sunny weather we've had recent, we're out in the boat. <laughs> we're, we're out on the boat in <laughs> precarious conditions, to Rainy. say the least. Belches and all. The waterways are so quiet. There's nobody out here. Um, there's nobody out here. So it's really good for practicing. We can practice speed, we can practice maneuvers, turnings. 
because when we were doing our training, it was quite busy, wasn't it? Wasn't it, darling? When we were doing our training, it was really busy some of the days. Boats coming left, right, centre, so busy. Remember that move I seen you? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. watches scary movies or movies that have a bit of an edge to them and then in our real life <laughs> he will make reference <laughs> to a movie he once saw that didn't actually end very well so that was just that I was just saying about um, a, a movie he saw where the ladder at the at the end of the boat everybody jumped in they stopped somewhere they were so excited that, that they wanted to get out of the boat and swim that everybody jumped out of the boat and forgot to put the ladder down and without the ladder they weren't able to get back in the boat so without being able to get back in the boat it didn't end very well but that no but that's a reminder for us to always make sure that we put the ladder, the ladder down all right guys 